Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Adeline Opera. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the steps to take in order to become a makeup artist. So I'll be giving you steps to take to start out in your makeup artistry journey. So if it's something you're interested in, you definitely want to keep on watching this video. a makeup artist is to enroll in a makeup school yes so this is in order for you to become a certified makeup artist so that in the future you don't have any problems so if that is something that is needed in your state you definitely want to check out the requirements needed for you to become a makeup artist but here in Nigeria you need to start out or you need to enroll in a makeup school so as for me I, I prefer you enroll in a makeup school because there you get to have someone or there's someone who's going to help you or who's going to guide you like person tells you your mistakes person gives you your mistake on front unlike when you have to learn all by yourself through youtube i'm not saying learning through youtube is bad but i feel like before you learn through youtube you have to go through a makeup school youtube would brush you up and you you use youtube to like learn more tricks tips and all those other things i don't i won't advise you to just go straight on to youtube because you get frustrated and you might not understand most of the things that you need to learn so definitely if you have the budget if you have the money then enroll into a makeup school enrolling in a makeup school also enables you to get the opportunity to work on different face types and skin types you also get to build your network of contacts as you because you're going to meet instructors and peers and your peers that is people who are also going to learn makeup with you so that's why i advise you start out in enrolling or that's why i advise that you start out with enrolling in a makeup the next step to take after enrolling into a makeup school is to practice yes so practice practice and keep on practicing i know you've heard this a thousand times but practice makes perfect and that doesn't exclude makeup artistry in order to reach where you want to be you need to keep on practicing and you need to be consistent yes you need to be consistent you need to keep on practicing and practicing and practicing even people who are at the top right now who are at the top of their makeup game they keep on practice you could try different looks on yourself on your friends or people that you meet yeah I've met random people, like people from my church, and I told them, Oh, I love you, I love the way you look, you're beautiful, or this, or I love your face structure, I like your face type, or something. Just comment them and all, and that's how you even start building your network of friends. So sometimes I ask people from my church if they could come and sit to be glammed up and all. So I, I practice on their face and ever since then i've grown in my makeup so another advice i'll give is just for you to keep on practicing so practicing on yourself i could show you let me show you an example of what i mean so i used to i started makeup in 2018 that was my third year of university that was when i started learning makeup and hmm, I'm going to show you a picture of when I first started like a makeup that I did on my face when I first started 
so guys here is a picture of the makeup that i did in 2018 when i first started and this is the one i did at the beginning of this year january so guys practice is the key practice and consistency is the key to mastery your craft whether it's makeup artistry or hairstyling or gilly whatever it is at all practice and consistency is the key to becoming better or to becoming a professional try and figure out what you're good at and what you need more practice on yes so play with products on different skin types on different face shapes and different age groups yes so this will enable your hand to become stronger if you in the future if a client comes up to you you won't think you won't sorry you won't think too much on what to do or what not to do like you just be moving like this why because you've practiced and you've practiced and you've practiced and your hand has become stronger so don't practice on one type of face shape diversify it this will enable you to have stronger hands like you you will not be overwhelmed or anxious yeah sorry what is anxious you won't be anxious yes. so i let me tell you a little story here so i remember when i started learning how to apply makeup i used to dread drawing brows guys but, and then my makeup teacher would draw on one bra and on one bra on one brow hey <laughs> on one brow and then tell me to draw on the other one hey hey my god i would literally be sweating like my hands my palms i'll be sweating like serious sweat some days uh, i'll feel like crying but i used to dread it but <sighs> now it's not a big deal at all like i can draw brows like minutes and done like those days one hour 30 minutes what is 30 minutes one hour and above i'm still on brows <laughs> good thank god for good thank god so now i'm better like it's not a big deal why because i practice during that time i made it a point to draw my brows every single sunday because then we used to go to we used to go for for we used to go to makeup school um then we used to go to the makeup school monday to saturday so sunday was like the day i used to practice very very well like on my own without no guidance whatsoever so i practiced every sunday i used to make it a point to practice every single sunday so i'll draw my brow and i'll apply foundation so this helped me that my hands were a little bit stronger and all but still now is when i've seen the real when people say practice practice be consistent this that i used to do the joke until i started applying it into my own life so guys practice and be consistent don't give up you will get to where you want to be hmm? another point i'll give is to follow the leaders Follow the leaders in the makeup industry. So research on people who have come before you, people who are at the top of their game, people who are already successful makeup artists, and know what makes them successful. Understand what makes them successful and do what they do. Figure out which styles you're most attracted to. Then, in other words, what I mean by this, in other words, learn from the best do what the top people do do what the top people do what the best people do do what the people at the top of their game are doing yeah follow them follow them follow trends and find out the style or the type of makeup that you're most comfortable with an easy way to do this is through instagram or youtube or facebook but mostly instagram and youtube because this is where most people post about 
their makeup styles you see makeup tutorials and all follow the top makeup artists follow them attend their whatsapp class attend their master classes and just do what they do and guy you're going to get to where you want to be you're going to be successful in this makeup industry don't forget it's a gradual process these people the difference between them and you is the number of years that they practice and they do don't try to put yourself in their shoes. They've been in this game long before you have been in it. So just learn from them and do what you can with the resources. Another thing you can do is to find a mentor. Yeah, so see if you can connect with a makeup artist who you tag along to makeup jobs or you maybe you can become their intern maybe you can become their intern or their assistant yeah so you can look for a makeup artist and try to see if you can have like an agreement and maybe become their assistant or their intern so this will enable you you learn on the job you know what is needed in the makeup industry so the next tip i'll give is to get online and market yourself learn to promote yourself shamelessly nobody is going to help you to promote yourself don't depend on your friends no it's you it's your work so learn to promote yourself shamelessly guy yeah yeah learn to promote yourself shamelessly nobody's going to do it for you instagram is a very good platform to promote yourself so you can post pictures about your work so anytime you do makeup on someone you can take pictures of it and upload it to instagram or facebook whatever platform it is that you're using so take pictures and upload it this will help you to stay relevant and it will also help you you become better at taking pictures you become better at editing you just learn a new skill whatever so just try your best take pictures and upload it so guys before now i didn't used to post my work online i'll just do makeup for people i didn't used to take pictures i just used to do makeup and then now i'm just seeing that as wasted content yeah so now what i do is whenever i make people up i always even though I have a client, I just try my best, take before and after, even though I can't do a video. So I try my best to upload my pictures online. So in order in doing this, I'm also promoting myself and I can also get sponsorships online. That's if that's what you're into. So you can definitely also do this and branch into another that is which is a um, um, beauty influencer another point that I'm going to give is for you to be social with your clients be social with your clients and also learn how to communicate effectively you should be able to communicate and socialize with clients prospects and colleagues both in person and online yeah so in other words networking you should learn how to network they say your network is your network so learn how to network so i know it can be very scary yeah it's very scary honestly especially if you're an introvert if you're an introvert it's going to be very scary for you but I got you so if you have an issue with socializing with people then you should pick up this book how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie I hope I pronounced that correctly so how to win friends get this book it's gonna help you a lot yeah so this book is going to teach you on how to win friends 
and how to influence people so you know the right way to communicate effectively so that people will fall in love with you another thing i would like to say it wasn't part of this one i just said let me add it to this is to take any job that comes your way this is going to enable you to learn faster so i know yeah sometimes there's just some kind of jobs that might come by and you might not want to take it because of maybe the pay is low and all but just look at there are just some things that there are there, 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 there are some jobs that i will advise you to take like they don't just make sense at all don't kill yourself but shall try to take jobs that are a bit reasonable yes so any job that comes your way that is reasonable take it even though the pay is going to be little just you're starting out and just instead of looking at the pay or the money look at it like your 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 broadening your network you're expanding your network so at this starting point you want to be thinking about networking 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 please tell me in the comment section if you'll be applying one or two of the steps i've given tell me which of the steps you'll be taking now i'll be waiting in the comment section if you want to be seeing more videos like this subscribe to my channel if you've learned a thing or two please like this video and subscribe subscribing is free guys it is free so please subscribe and support me and don't forget to hit the notification bell down below if you want to be seeing more of me yeah so hit the notification bell so when videos like this pop up you'll be notified thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video